getting her vehicle. That's the mob right there. Hiding her vehicle. Right behind the van. That's why I couldn't see her. Right there. That's her vehicle right there. That's the mob. Board of Education, District 99, employee female. Um, that's it. Oh, look who got here on command signal. This is on command signal. This is instructions given on command signal. Here's again. On command signal. right there. Told you that's a confrontation. A confrontation. <clears throat> Instructions given. Confrontation. That's the game plan. Here you go. That's evidence. Instructions given, confrontation. Uh, Thomas Cicero Police Department standing by. Waiting for us police report, court dates. Most important of all, pre-enrollment mental health hospital begins. To avoid any involvement or blame, open cases. Imminent illness to come from prolonged exposure Extreme high level frequencies. There you go, that's the game plan. <clears throat> I knew something was up because same time frame, same time frame as the mob and the bad man. So instructions were given to seek confrontation and this is regarding our order of protection and you see the lights are still on so that's the game plan and let's see who else is coming we're still waiting for the mob oh there, he, there she comes right now Here. But there you go, folks. Uh, you saw me walking, and I was not looking for a confrontation, but they clearly came at me. This is ordered instruction. This is ordered instructions to provoke 
movement reaction response, uh, order of protection, and of course, Town of Cicero Police Department is waiting, standing by, uh, false police reports, court dates, but most important of all, pre-enrollment mental health hospital begins. A organized crime family, um, these, these guys were waiting. These guys were waiting. Right here. These guys were waiting. Uh, this is not their regular time schedule. I went out uh, to do filming, and they came at the same time frame as the mob and the bag man. <clears throat> so, that's the strategy. And this is how Organized Crime Family is uh, working on stopping me from recording and uploading the mob, um, Board of Education, District 99 employee, female. Uh, the male, um, he totally switched uh, schedule or he transferred to a different Board of Education building. Um, I'm still waiting for the mob. And I'm still waiting for the bag man. But, <clears throat> that's the proof. It's uh, Friday, June 14th, 2024. Again, Friday, June 14th, 2024. Uh, 4 4 p.m. And um, let me uh, rephrase. Let me get back to what I was saying. Uh, this was a planned, um, planned instructions. These guys right here were waiting for me at the corner. Once they seen I walked a certain distance, that's when they decided to park in front. Uh, the confrontation was already pre-planned, and um, as you can see, they came toward me. And they were waving for me to come outside. Uh, clearly, this was a, a pre-planned attack, uh, order of protection. Um, this is to provoke movement reaction response. And um, organized crime family is very desperate. They want me to stop recording, uploading videos. And uh, confrontation is one of the methods they are using to stop me from recording. Um, this is evidence, folks. It's up. Uh, I think I see the mob. Let me see. Yep, that's her. That's what we were waiting for. Okay. Let's see. There she is. There you go. There you go. There you go. See? That's what they were, they were protecting. That's what they were protect, uh, protecting. And um, that's why... Uh, the mob, I mean, uh, the dollar store owner hid his car. He hid his car right there on, on the earlier video. He hid the car, instructions given. So, now we're waiting for the bag man. So far, no bag man. But, uh, it just goes to show, uh, organized crime family is getting very desperate. And uh, they're trying to provoke... A confrontation. This confrontation is involving, of course, Town of Cicero Police Department uh, police officer Sergeant Porter, badge number 2255, right forearm tattoo, and his other uh, police officer friends waiting, standing by, set up false police reports, court dates, but the most important of all, pre enrollment mental health hospital begins. And take a look. Again, this is how organized crime family, this is why they are attacking me from next door. See? 
This is why they are attacking me from next door with bright light harassment using truck lights. This is the reason. So if there is a confrontation, so if there is a confrontation and they have to come here, they are going to take note of the windows covered up. And this is how, this is the game plan, is to make sure the victim is preconditioned at home to react. Uh, this information of the windows covered up will be used against me. So this is how organized crime family is able to manipulate their victims at home to precondition them to be enrolled in a mental health facility for evaluation purposes. So again, uh, this is an organized crime family process plan attack. Uh, this, uh, this is something they've been working on for quite some time. And this is uh, a confrontation. A confrontation that will lead to an order of protection. And again, uh, homeowner Martinez's son is hiding his vehicle over here. See? The order of protection continues. That's where he's hiding his vehicle under instructions right there. See? So he can come up uh, behind me and take a picture. And to manipulate my ex-wife, I am harassing them. And again, you saw them um, walking toward me and you saw him trying to uh, wave at me to come outside. Again, this is a confrontation. Organized crime family process plan attacks. And, uh, well, we just leave it at that. We are waiting for the bag man. But this goes to show organized crime family is responding. That's correct, folks. Organized crime family is responding. And they are hard at work trying to make sure I'm not able to upload and record any videos. And these people right here, we recorded earlier, uh, the little baby right along continues at 5132. And daily drug dealing, traffic transactions, distribution and packing, special delivery at 5130, where the confrontation came from. These guys were waiting for me. This is instructions given. And uh, well, what, what else can I say? Um, Friday, June 14th, 2024, at 4.10 p.m. Organized crime family process plan attacks, order of protection in the works. And uh, we are still waiting for the bag man. And this guy in front here uh, was visited earlier uh, by the little, uh, little baby right along. And it seems like he's still waiting. So we're going to stand by. So, so far, no bad man. And we're going to be waiting. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, we will continue uploading and recording videos with your support. And um, this is another evidence that organized crime family is getting very desperate. And uh, it was a failed attempt to manipulate me uh, to confrontate them. Um, this is how organized crime family is working with Town of Cicero Police Department. This is proof that they are working with Town of Cicero Police Department for house arrests, court dates, uh, but the most important of all, pre-enrollment mental health hospital begins. This is the reason I'm being attacked inside uh, my home. I rent here. I, I'm, just, I'm just renting but this is the reason they are manipulating me to react by covering up the window. So when the confrontation does happen, <clears throat> excuse me, when the confrontation does happen, they will uh, be taking pictures of the windows. And this is how unsolved murder cases of identity theft Medicaid victims are preconditioned at home to react, getting them ready to enroll them in a mental health facility for evaluation purposes. Get this, constant mental health hospital evaluation, victim loses their credibility. Family, friends, news media, 
which you all lose hope. The consequences are very severe under that this care. So, uh, identity theft Medicaid is part, a big part of this equation, manipulate businesses, remain in control, and silent victims. Uh, unsolved murder cases of identity theft Medicaid, victims are uh, preconditioned at home to react. So we're going to keep it rolling, folks. Thank you so much for your support. Have a safe uh, Friday evening, and we are still waiting uh, for the bag man. And uh, um, again, this has been a failed uh, confrontation attempt by organized crime family uh, process plan attacks. Uh, this was pre-planned. This attack was not random. These are uh, mules that uh, are, are distributing the white powder substance were ordered by Anthony J. Loder, Avila Greco, and Nello Greco, and they're working with Tana Cicero Police Department. So this is why I am a target, but we are going to continue uploading and recording videos with your support. And you've seen this was unprovoked. I walked away, but they still uh, were under orders to get that confrontation. Their job was to have a confrontation with me. You saw the guy waving at me as I was inside the lobby. So, that's evidence, folks. Thank you so much for your support.